Zimmer. Hey, we're officially live now. Everyone can see us. What's up? How's everybody doing? Oh, Good. very well. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, I see chat's already active. Everybody got here nice and early. I'm really excited about that. What's up, Vampire Casualty? I saw Robert Tables gifting out some, some subs there. Thanks so much. Uh, Renegade's in there. Uh, Amber, uh, man, everybody's showing up early. That's so cool. I really appreciate that. So this is the official weekly uh, Sirenscape Cyberpunk Red <laughs> actual play. So we're going to do this every Thursday uh, at this time right here. So make sure you just lock it into your schedule. Um, so if you missed session zero, you can go back. It's currently uh, VOD'd on the Sirenscape YouTube channel. Make sure you go there and you subscribe so you don't miss any of the VODs if you end up missing one of the live streams, you know. Um, and, and you can backtrack. If you're not uh, familiar with the backgrounds of all of the players, how they know each other and all that stuff, I, I absolutely recommend you go and check that out uh, so you can see uh, just how cool it, it is and, and how our session zero went. Um, yeah, and see what's up. Val Mulligan, my beautiful wife's in the chat saying we all look great. Thanks so much. I agree. I think everybody's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. Um, before we, we get into uh, uh, today's session and what's happening, let's first go around the table and just do a quick introduction of yourself as a player, um, and then just uh, you know mention your character's name and role. Uh, so Ellen, you want to start it off? Hi, uh, my name is Ellen, or on Twitter, at Ellen K. Graham One, uh, and uh, I will be playing the role of Ali Katz today, and seemingly until the end of this series, hopefully. And she is a rocker. Hell yeah. And Rockette? Unless I get killed off. <laughs> which is not going to happen. Which is no. not going to happen. If you think it, it makes it so. Not going to happen. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And. <laughs> Hello, I am Rocket Fox, and uh, yeah, you can find me anywhere you find Rocket Foxes, and I am playing Hades, our uh, beloved Netrunner. All right, and Phil? Yes, hello, I am Phil. Uh, on, on Twitter, I'm at Scruff, S-K-K-R-U-F, and along with Ellen, I'm part of Baby Beard Media. Today, I'm playing your solo, but... Hell yeah. And if anybody's not familiar with Baby Beard Media, go check out them and some role to cast. They do awesome uh, role play there. Um, yeah, Brandon, why don't you uh, take the mic? I'm Brandon Perkins. You can find me at DM underscore Brando on the socials. I'm playing Rush, and he's a fixer. Nice, perfect. And uh, I'm Rob Mulligan. I'm the game master for tonight, and I'll be doing uh, I'll be here every week, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, unless I get killed or something, or fired, who knows? You, you never know. The game could get crazy. Um, Unlikely. Yeah. So badly, it hits the game master. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's unforgiving. The, the game got that brutal. Um, but all right, let's start off. Let's get into it. Uh, as we know, everybody, oh, awesome. Thanks, for Harsh, for the follow. And, uh, and, you know, we'll try to get into chat as much as possible. Um, obviously, you know, first, first priority is gameplay, and we want to make sure that the players in the game keeps moving forward and we have a good time. But... Um, you know, I'm an avid supporter of the chat and the community. I love when uh, you guys in the chat just come up with cool ideas and contribute things and thoughts. Uh, 
players love to pull ideas out of there, so do I. I think it's a lot of fun, so feel free to uh, get involved if you're watching the live stream. Uh, yeah, so everybody is, you know, it's Friday. It's Friday in Night City. I brought up the map there if everybody is looking in Roll20, because um, I am going to kind of point out a few things as we go. Um, and keep in mind that map, map is general, you know, like building shapes, all the little details down to it. it you know, it's not exact what, what's going on, but it gives you an idea at least. Um, it's Friday in Night City. Everybody is, is waking up, you know, going through your morning rituals, eating your breakfast, grabbing a shower, unless you shower at night. I don't know your process, but you're, you're ready. You got up, you're starting your day. It's early. Um, what I'd like to do before uh, we move forward is let's go around the table. Everyone describe your living area and, uh, and your look today, how your character is looking. Uh, Alley Cats. Uh, yeah, Ali has a, a kind of little um, shoebox apartment uh, in the marina where she is just kind of decked it out with all kinds of lights and camera set up and, and different kind of experiences for her brain dance viewers um, to make new content. Uh, and then she also kind of hops on the data pool and makes sure that she's basically, she's basically resplendent in her gamer chair as she messages all of her adoring fans and puts on a spectacle for them. So it's kind of like a, a neon little shoebox with fluffy outfits, all kinds of, of, you know, lacy items and whatnot. Um, and her look, what time is it? It's like the morning. Yeah, so yeah. she's probably coming off a late night stream. So she's probably like, like sans, um, you know, not that she has makeup because she has chem skin, but you know, she's kind of like, uh, like sitting in her, with her PJ bottoms, just like, uh, like looking through all her screens, like, oh my God, what's trending today? Ew, no, I'm not doing that. You guys are freaks. Mm -mm. Oh, that'd be a fun costume. And she's just kind of like scrolling through and like, you know, getting some caffeine into her system and just trying to figure out what look am I going for today? Um, probably something very neon, like a, like, a, like a cheerleader who is also a cyborg. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> Rush. <laughs> Hey, sorry. So I'm Rush. I live in, uh, I'm trying to remember what they're called. I was just trying to Google it right now because I can't remember off the top of my head. But it's like a, a cube. Mm, <laughs> um, a cube motel. A cube motel, yeah. Uh, so I live in a, a cube motel. Uh, since I grew up sleeping in cars, this is much more comfortable. And uh, this is, uh, yeah, it's home. Uh, it's more space than I need, but it's you know more comfortable than a car um but i spend most of my time outside of that cube motel right now i'm probably uh somewhere walking the street um on my phone working a deal nice perfect well what's he wearing today what's rush looking like oh probably a lot like this uh these are the glasses perfect. today. <laughs> he always wears this this gold vest thing um and sometimes he swaps out this the color of this glowing rope on his hat but yeah nice perfect hades um, yes, so Hades lives in a studio apartment, which is pretty close to the upper marina, but um, just on the edge of Little China. And, um, you know, she, in her studio apartment, she has a lot of stuffed animals, and um, she also keeps a lot of just little knickknacks that she likes, um, you know, and then she also keeps a lot of... Uh, a little bit further away in the corners um she keeps a lot of skulls and things like that as well that uh you know those are just tucked <laughs> away in the corners um but the rest of the time uh oh yeah you know over where she keeps her blades and stuff like that <laughs> um but aside from that um yeah, in the morning she would be getting up and probably drinking um, something fizzy, something really sweet uh, with lots of flavors all combined into one place. The more colors and flavors, uh, the better that would be. 
Um, and she would probably look a lot like what you see before you right now. And she would just be going on um, and looking to see if she could get me jobs for the morning. <laughs> nice. Bud. Uh, so uh, Bud uh, lives in a container, um, you know, <laughs> s stacked on a bunch of other containers where a bunch of other people live. And inside is, is just a total wreck. Uh, stuff strewn everywhere. Uh, he just literally rolls out of out of bed, um, you know, in a t-shirt, probably still in his underwear, trying to pick whatever jeans are like you vaguely clean, big big boots, and uh, you know, spike jacket. Looks in the mirror. Oh yeah, my hawk's still up. Of course, it's fine. Basically, never moves. Stays exactly where it is. Kicks. Kicks, you know, piles of, of smash cans out the way <laughs> before stretching. Um, and and looking forward to a good day of, like, doing nothing unless someone pays me to kill someone. <laughs> nice. I love that. Uh, thanks for the follow there, Interred Zen. Um, so, yeah, you guys uh, got a good idea how everything's looking, uh, how everyone is looking, your living space and all that. You've gone through your morning rituals. Everyone's ready to go. Seems like most of you are you know, somewhat searching for gigs or just kind of chilling, uh, maybe something along those lines. And, you know, it doesn't fail. Your agents go off. You're getting a message from your boss who goes by Nash. Uh, he's, you know, runs the district PD. Uh, and anybody confused, like I said, hit up session zero so you can dive in deep to the details of all this. It's a lot of fun. But, um, but when you're, you as a team, since you all live in different places, you all stay in different areas, uh, how do you normally handle it? Because you, you've, you know, you've known each other for a long time. You guys are friends. You're deep. You're almost family. When you get those messages from the boss and he sends you, say, a scream sheet and says, hey, whenever, whenever you can come into the office, get in here, we need to talk, um, would you all get together and you know, meet at someone's particular location or would you meet at the district PD? What, what do you guys think? Uh, uh, I do think. You have an oh, office sorry, rush? you go. Yeah, I was going to. I think I, I would assume that Rush would be our kind of hub in some way. Hmm. Being the. Fixer. I can't. Yeah. Where I does Rush? Where does drive. Rush? Oh, okay. Well, and Rush in your <laughs> uh, life path, where I can't remember. Where do you work out of typically? What did it say? It was a lobby or was it a bar? I can't remember. Oh no, my my office is my agent. Oh, okay. So, well, so I treat I treat my business so like I, a nomad. Treats, I guess you're yeah. gonna have three people piggybacking on you. They're just gonna be hanging on to you. That's where you guys are meeting. Well, I'm thinking we probably meet at uh, I don't know, like a cafe or something, or you know, uh, some place. Uh, like a yeah, yeah. yeah th there you go. Here, here's what you do. Uh, you know, District PD actually sits right next to a 24 hour cafe truck stop. Um, so we'll say maybe you all meet there, and let me just kind of point things out so you can see the general idea. And like I said, it's not perfect, but over here is, you know, the 24-hour truck stop. Um, District PD is right here, kind of on the edge of Upper Marina and Little China, but let's say you all meet there. Um, you, you were sent that message, and you were sent a scream sheet. Let me just make sure this pops up to everybody. Um, can everybody see the scream sheet? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, perfect. Well, yeah, that came out, and uh, anybody watching as well, we do have a Scream Sheet project. We put these out, so if anybody wants to use any of the active Scream Sheets throughout any of the gameplay, you can go to cyberpunkuncensored.com um, and grab them for free and use them. Lots of great stories and people from the community contributing awesome stuff. But you were sent this one. Uh, the title that's circled by the boss is the one there on the left, the top story from IMG, which is a lower-level kind of publication, an indie one, their indie media group. Um, but it's the one circled Beware of Plague by Chansey. Um, does somebody want to read that? We'll say you guys met at the I'm cafe. I'm happy to take it a go. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, you go, Ellen. Okay. Uh, morning, everyone. All looking <laughs> fabulous, as usual. I feel like morning, some... Kitten. <laughs> it's no too need... early. Too no early. need to lie to me, <laughs> uh. I would never lie to you. You don't pay me. So, let's take this message, shall we? <clears throat> it's very possible a designer plague has hit the upper marina of Night City. Fun. 
Earlier this week, an apparent sickness has started to affect numerous people in the district with two possible casualties. A cover-up is suspected, although not fully confirmed. Rumors have begun to circulate that the symptoms are similar to a flu, but with more extreme side effects and supposedly short-term. Temperatures exceeding 105 degrees Fahrenheit, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach aches, and cramps. <laughs> even loss of consciousness i'm sorry should i not do this when you're eating no i just the diary was funny i'm sorry go on it, <laughs> it's the little things you have to take according hand. <laughs> <laughs> me goes in it comes out according to one source they allegedly sourced someone saw someone bleeding excessively from the nose and another report claimed to have seen bloody diarrhea in a bodega bathroom stall. I know, we shouldn't laugh, okay? No, Let's I, just... I know, I, I'm sure it's very unpleasant. Okay, like I'm five sorry. seconds of like laughter. <laughs> Have some kibble, you'll feel better. Okay. <laughs> it's not great, but it's cheap. Uh, <laughs> for further investigation is planned as more leads and witnesses come forth. Viewers and listeners should stay tuned for a follow-up report as evidence and accounts are verified. Listen, so, sounds to me like people just, you know, spending too much on Smash. You know, the same symptoms. That's what it sounds like to me. You know, people just going out, getting a little Smash, getting a little Synth Coke, a little blood, a little diarrhea, bad morning. You know, you ask glass blood when you go on a, a bender rush? Yeah. <laughs> Not me specifically, but I've heard stories. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think maybe. I haven't partied that hard in a while, <laughs> Rush. I don't usually bleed from any orifice when I have Smash. <laughs> yeah, the, That's the other thing true. to notice uh, from that um, screen sheet is the current weather uh, report, which uh, does have blood rain uh, occasionally throughout the day. Um, it also reported um, high temperatures uh, in the 90s. So it's, it's a pretty hot day. Um, you know, if anybody is wearing excessive armor, uh, will say anything above an SP 11, uh, you're def you know, you're definitely going to get a negative mod to most actions in this heat. And especially if you get caught in the rain. Um, but right now, yeah, it is raining outside, but you're hanging out while you're wrapping up your meal. Um, why don't you just explain, uh, what, what did Hades dream about last night? You know, t tell the other players while you're wrapping up your, your meal, paying the bill, and getting ready to head to District PD. Just casual conversation. You know, last night I had this crazy dream. So yeah. pay attention, it's important. So there I was, and I was surrounded by all of these bunnies. And they weren't just regular bunnies, though. They were all different colors, and they had really long hair and I went to ride on top of them because I got really small and as soon as I did though they suddenly got these really big sharp claws and then I woke up nice. oh my Ru god Rush uh, why don't you respond to that but tell him about your, your dream you had last night yeah well my dream was uh, a lot like yours except nothing like it at all um so I, I i had dreams i had beautiful amazing dreams more than one i tell you because these dreams but they all had something in common i'm telling so listen the i had dreams about eddies lots of eddies flying just flying into our pockets and us living the life like kings and queens you understand what i mean to be honest, I dream about this every night. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Alley cats. Um, I mean, it's not like you guys' dream. Um, I dreamt that I was in the middle of a, a session and that, um, like, it was like boiling and then I looked down at my skin and it was red and I'm like I didn't change my chem skin to red that's so weird but then it was also like hissing and, and popping and then it just kind of came apart 
in spirals like a snake or, or something and it just kind of all fell off me and I then th yeah it's it was a weird dream whatever i think yours sounds more like mine than rushes <laughs> snakes like bunnies nightmare. they're best friends it's Bud? true it's true have you, either of you seen a snake or a bunny um yes i have a bunny hades has a bunny how very dare you yeah oh, yeah <laughs> i thought we knew each other i thought we went way back i can't even believe what i'm hearing right now obviously you don't follow all the uh the pictures we post about it yeah, I'm busy. She has uh, her own uh, Instagram, okay? Doing nothing, I guess. <laughs> well, how, how, was your, how was your dream, bud? Oh, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't remember the last time I had a dream. I usually so bummed out by the time I hit the, hit the sack. I am totally unconscious till morning. Can I, like, roll I mean, perception on that? that? Yeah, give, give a human perception. Uh, let me just reference my sheet. That's human perception. Yeah, human, yes. human perception. I am indeed a human. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, Phil, you should contest, contest that and see if you need to reveal any truth. If there is any truth behind it, you had an actual dream. Um, if uh, there would, is any truth. <laughs> with my concentration or my oh, wow. acting, what do you want me to use? Oh, use your, uh, no, use your, uh... Um, yeah, acting would be good if you want to do that. It's either acting or persuasion. Uh, I'll, I'll take either. Acting would be kind of fun. Uh, not as good as my, my persuasion, but uh, I think it's slightly more thematic. Yeah. That's a 12 from Ali. Uh, and I need boom. to get more visible dice. Oh, I thought you got an 18. Oh, I'm looking at... Uh, in roll 20, you can automatically roll that, uh, Alley Cat. Yeah, in the future, I just rolled a physical one. That's because... fine. Uh, well, he, he got a 12 as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. But, uh, so it goes to the defender. So you can't really tell. You're not making it out. There might be something more to that, uh, to that, you know, what he's saying. He might be hiding uh, something there. Hmm. A bit more. Sure thing, he's playing but... Cool. He's playing cool. But yeah, you finish up, uh, you, 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 you know, pay for the meal, you wrap it up, you go pretty much right next door to District PD. Uh, D Upper Marina District PD is pretty much an old building, uh, only standing two stories tall. Bottom floor is reception, patrol cubicles. Second floor is supplies and offices uh, with limited holding cell space uh, in the basement. It's located on the border of the Upper Marina in Little China between that 24-hour cafe truck stop and a series of warehouses. Um, it's conveniently located right there, uh, pretty much next to the highway and the combat zone. Um, it's a bit inconspicuous other than the occasional uniformed officer coming or going. Uh, and it's purposely set up like that, but you guys usually go in the side entrance, uh, make your way up the stairs and go to your boss's office, who is Nash. So I take it that's what everyone's doing? Mm-hmm. No time like the present. Not Can present. anyone drive? I yeah. cannot stress this enough. I cannot drive. Yeah, we didn't go over uh, who who has the vehicle because we can say you know everyone took a, a, ca a cab over to the spot, but who has the vehicle to get the team around during the day? Does anyone drive? Not me. I can <laughs> drive, but I don't own a vehicle. Okay. <laughs> did, not, did not spend did not spend uh, my starting at ease. Then on what that. we can do, uh, yeah, what we can do for uh, for fun, and so we're not constantly taxing on, on cab stuff is we'll, we'll say that district PD does give you a beater. Nash has a little, uh, a beater. I mean, it's, it's nothing special, nothing to look at, but it gets you around. Um, and you know, if it takes too much damage, it's bound to break. It's not, it's not that tough. It's an old school, but, um, but yeah, at least have that. I'll give you that. So you guys can get around as a team if you need to. Um, and that's not day to day. That's just, you know, when you got a gig, you check it out out of the district PD, we'll say. Um, Rob's being very generous. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to help without giving too much, you know. Appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate that. Um, all right, perfect. Yeah, you guys get in there. Uh, get up to his office. Like I said, his name is Nash. Uh, he's an older, seasoned man. Probably, uh, well, possibly in, in his uh, late 50s, probably in his mid-60s. Uh, he's tall, burly. Uh, yeah, he sits behind a desk and gives out orders. Uh, but you can tell, you know, he's... He's definitely seen his 
fair share of combat. You know, he can handle his own. Um, you can tell that by the vis visible scars. He has a huge one going down his whole face, down through his lip, and all the way down the neck. Like, might have taken a katana at one time, something along those lines. Plus, he has a bunch of cyberware. Um, the other thing, too, to kind of make note of is the fact that, uh, you know, at this age and, and doing this occupation, being around that long in Night City uh, says a lot as well. So, mm -hmm. But, yeah, you, you enter in. He's sitting behind the desk. He kind of stops working on the paperwork he was and looks up and just... Uh, uh, did, did you see the scream sheet I sent? Yeah. Uh, there yeah, was a lot of diarrhea involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L lots of diarrhea. Okay. Uh, look, the, the, <laughs> the, council, the council is threatening to pull funding yet again. <laughs> this time over that scream sheet uh, that came out uh, just a few days ago. Apparently some no-name media named Chansey uh, says that designer Plague showed up in our district... Uh, I'm not sure about that or what it's about, but get to the bottom of it. Find out what's up. Uh, if there was some type of virus or some plague, something in our district, I, I need to know what's up. We need to pin it on someone. I want to get the council off my back. Um, as usual, 50 up front. And uh, keep me in the loop. Don't keep me in the dark. Keep me updated. He presses down on his agent, and each one of your agents kind of pings, and uh, there's 500 uh, digital eddies that kind of show up in your agent. Each one. Well, uh, maybe that can go towards a hazmat suit. Mm. Don't tell me how to spend my eddies. <laughs> sure, well, uh, if you start shitting everywhere, then uh, stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like that laugh. Never have. <laughs> it means she's planning something. <laughs> I'm not going to be the one shitting everywhere, bud. Uh, you're not going to get to the bottom of this chatting in my office. Can you get to it, please? Well, hold please, on. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, one second there, Nash. Now, my chum, chumba, chumbata, my friend. Now, look. Do you have any leads at all? I mean, are we just to go on the screen sheet? Have you got, you got any information? This is all Anything? I got. It came out. Can't, council's busting my balls. Get to the bottom of it. We need to pin this on someone. All right. Where should we start? Where, where did the last person show up dead? You got you got anything? Any any place we what could just... This? All I have is what a scream sheet. media? All right. Chancy. Media. Some Chancy. media, some media yeah, chick named Chancy on this IMG scream All sheet. Right. Off to Chancy, I suppose. Well, good talking to you, Nash. Yeah. I guess we should get back to... to the bottom of this. <laughs> on, uh, God, can you please get to okay, it? All right. Jesus. He goes back to his good. paperwork. Thank you, Ben, in chat. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to the owner of Sirenscape to raise the bar of uh, the comedy I'm caliber. Sorry, I Hey, hey, we're talking, we're talking about the bottom here. I think you mean lower the bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. All right, let's get, let's get going. Come on, guys. Let's, let's play some cyberpunk right, huh? All right. All right. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Well, Does Russia, anyone... you know how to find people. Yeah. Yeah, that I do. So, uh, I pop out my agent. Uh, who would I be getting in touch with to try and find out where chance he is or how to find this person um well you have the scream sheet uh you know you could with with agents you can do a basic data pool search obviously see what any information mm -hmm. you can get on or we can see what kind of library search skill checks everybody gets um the other option obviously like you mentioned you're a fixer you got all the hookups you know so you do know uh at your rank you know you know city gang honcho uh, a minor politician a corp exec a well-known well known person in the neighborhood. Um, you know the guy who runs the 6th Street? Um, kind of hangs out in the upper part of the upper marina on the border there of uh, Little Europe. But um, you also, the minor politician you know is Derek Peterson, just an up-and-coming, nothing major, um, trying try, trying to go for city council. Um, you know the uh, corp exec over at Petrochem. He's kind of lower level. Don't know if any of these are going to really help, obviously. Uh, a guy named Sawyer. Um, I am, do you have a garden patch, maybe? Um, yeah, you know, if everybody wants to uh, give me library search, a skill check there. Let's see hey, what kind of information you all dig up. Agent. 
And don't forget, you know, and, and, and Rush, you do have those hookups too. So we can do library search, everybody on the agent, like like Bud was searching and, and suggesting. But you do have all those connections if you ever want to hit any of those up. Okay, I got a 14 on my Is library it? search. I just don't know which one. Missing library or could streetwise uh, work? I was um, going to say, uh, if one of us does not have no, a this library. Is, yeah, library uh, search. Streetwise. Uh, okay. Because um, this is, you know, search, searching the data pools with your agent. Yeah. Um. Oh, no, okay, okay, not the worst. Um, yeah, with all of that, you know, nothing major is coming up. At most, you're finding, uh, you know, Rockette probably finds the most there, it seems. Um... But the, mo but the most you're finding is, you know, this, this Chansey girl, she does have a page on the garden. She promotes herself as a media. Anybody that needs to, ha you know, have her uh, source any rumors and things that they can give her. You know, it has her agent number. Um, it has her email address. Um, so at least you have that. Um, as far as IMG, uh, if you want to give me another library search, I'll take that. No, I said I M G. <laughs> Shit. Since they're separate topics, you know, let everybody. Nice. Looks like Hades. Am I getting that right? Yeah, Hades did the best again. Okay, awesome. Um, Hades is at one with the net. Yeah, as she should be. Awesome. She's a net runner, you know. She's doing well. That is correct. Um, but you notice that uh, IMG is, you know, it's an up-and-coming media corporation, the indie media group. It's located right next to N54, over there in New Westbrook. Um, you know, it's it's fairly new. It's a neocorp. Uh, they put out scream sheets, and they're known for putting out community scream sheets. So, it could have random writers. They don't really have like employed writers. They just kind of buy out um, stories and, and things like that. Um, you know, they work with numerous different media and things. Uh, they, they are trying to start up their own, uh, you know, network of like, uh, uh, series and televised things and more scripted entertainment. Um, but they're not there yet. You know, right now they're just trying to break stories and such. Keeping it straight. <laughs> well, uh, you're the charmer here, uh, Rush. Why don't you, uh, give, uh, our media friend a call? Absolutely. So I'll dial the number then. Uh, so just to make sure I'm following, I'm calling IMG, or did we find the number for Chansey? Found the number both. for Chansey. Yeah, both numbers. Yeah, so let's call oh. Chansey directly then. Um, yeah, it just it goes straight to voicemail. Just, hey, it's Chansey, leave a message. Good. Voicemail is Chansey, cold. it's Rush. I know you know who I am. Why don't you call me back? My number, you probably know that already too. So I'll hear from you soon. Talk to you later. And it's a voice loving the confidence. Full. Yeah, that's pretty bold, Rush. She works mm. in this neighborhood. She knows me. Is Found there to. some other way, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe we could try and see if she's left a kind of trace online, mm. or maybe we just go in person and show off our dazzling personalities. Mm. You could try and get into their system or something. Mm. See what's knocking around in there. Check the local clinic, see if anybody's coming sick. You could check the local bathrooms. <laughs> you first. <laughs> That's, I'm no. going to be busy online, bud. <laughs> If we can find out who died last, we might be able to go there, and I'm sure Chansey's been there. Maybe somebody talked to her, point us in Possibly. a direction. Maybe she gave them her card with an address. These people have, like, died in this area, right? Surely Supposed someone's... in our neighborhood, yeah. Yeah. Right. Maybe I could ask the fans. Yeah, in that report, and as you know, media is kind of follow rumors. It's not, you know, it's what they're trying to, to solve. But in that scream sheet, yeah, it said that there was uh, rumors of a couple, uh, pe you know, casualties, um, numerous people getting sick, possible cover-up, but uh, 
she said in the report, you know, she need, she was going to do some follow up and uh, you know follow some leads and see what she could figure out, mm. see what was true or not. Media who doesn't answer her agent. Yeah, and it said voice mailbox full. Oh. oh. Right. Probably in the middle of a... I don't that know. doesn't storm. So I didn't leave a message after all. <laughs> yeah, I said that right after I, I did her message, but I didn't know if you heard it. I let it play out because I loved your voice. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I just talked over her voicemail. <laughs> okay. <Ooh>. Um, <laughs> well, we could call IMG as well. There may be some, some kind of a lead there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, no, she works for them. Can't have smoked cigarettes all day. All right, you I'm are. calling IMG. <laughs> yeah, you call IMG. A so. receptionist answers and like, hey, this is Kate. What's up? Hello, this is Rush. You know who I am. I'm looking for Chancy. Any chance you've got her digits? Well, I've got her digits. Her location? Uh, give me conversation. Eleven. Yeah, crit failed on my end. Uh, I always <laughs> like saying that when it's fun because it's always exciting when you crit. Yeah, but yeah, uh, she just wait, who I don't I, I don't know any rush, but ooh, I, I like the sound of your voice. That accent's crazy. <laughs> where, you, where are you calling <laughs> you, from? You in Night City with that voice? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm calling you right now. I, now ooh. listen, I'm not too far away. We can talk later, but but it's real, real important that I get in touch with Chance. Her voice my, voicemail is full, and I was looking to see if I could just bump into her on the street. Do you know where she frequents? Chancey, is she, I don't have, nobody works here under that name. Is she uh, one of our writers or somebody? Who is that? Oh yeah, she she did an article for you on, on a plague, some sort of plague with bleeding orifices. Ooh. Butts, bleeding butts. Oh you have to butt. say it. Uh, you hear some typing in the background and stuff. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm seeing. Um, we have a writer chance. Okay, so this is follow up on her article that just came out this week. Um, yeah, if you want to follow up, uh, her contact. I have her contact no info here. She has a page on the garden. All right. Well, I've got her email. I've got her phone number. Her mailbox is full. She's not answering her phone. Oh. You know. So I'm just wondering. Do you know her address? Um, you hear like more typing and stuff, and then she was like, "I, I, I don't know. I just, it doesn't seem like she has an address on file or anything like that." But um, she, she seems to upload files to uh, one of the data ports there at the budget bunks. Uh, in, and you, you know, uh, uh, Rush the budget bunks is a, you know, sort of a. a Hostel, uh, mo cheap, cheap hostel motel. One of the last ones in the upper part of Upper Marina, leading on border to uh, a little Europe. Um, but you've heard of it. But uh, she, yeah, there's a, a data term there in the lobby. She seems to upload stories there. That's where the last one came from, anyways. But you could probably follow up on that story um, if you find her there. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna go and check out the bunks then. I, I appreciate all of your assistance. You've been amazing. So wh when do I get to meet this voice in person? Oh, soon. Very, very soon. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Click. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, I, are you sure you're not I a turn over, to, turn over to Hades. I don't think Cypress is going to like hearing about that. She doesn't like it when I flirt. I'm not going to tell anybody. I do appreciate that. But I have to be honest. I'm going to tell her. <laughs> Just got to be truthful. Got to be truthful. That's because you're a good man. Oh, I try. Thank you so much. Please be sure to tell everyone. <laughs> you're I one will. of the last. <laughs> All right. So, how far? Uh, how far is this? Yeah, I'll location? show you. Yeah, I'll show you over here. On if you go, go over to roll twenty, um, you know, like we know, you, you all are over in this area originally. Uh, where District PD is, you went over to, or no, you called, sorry. So yeah, you could call from uh, your agent out, you know, either in the lobby of District PD or go back to the cafe, but either way, that's where you're calling from. Um, northern part of Upper Marina, where it kind of hits Little Europe, somewhere along these lines, um, is where that budget bunks is located, which is like a hostel. It's a, um, 
Yeah, you've heard of it. Okay. So she said budget bunks. Do do you have you all been there before? Uh, I'm not about to tell you. Generally, don't need to know about my sordid past. But (laughs) what's the address? I might have might have shot someone nearby once. Hmm. I I have been in the proximity, if that's what you're asking. Right. I'm just wondering. (laughs) You know, I've been by there. I haven't been inside myself, but just wondering if there's anything we should know before we head over. Yeah, and the, uh, the fact that yeah, you, you've sorry. been there before, I can explain kind of, you know, Rush, you've seen it. It's a tall, narrow building. I mean, it's extremely narrow, kind of dumpy, hostile sort of vibe to it. Like I said, it's one of the last ones of the old places kind of hanging out. It looks like it probably you'd find it in the combat zone versus up here, but like I said, it's one of the last clinging on. It's wedged in between two, like, kind of mega multi-business uh, uh, complexes where it's just different offices rented out. Um, and I can bring up the image for it if everybody's in roll 20, we can... Sure. I can drive us over there. <laughs> All right, let's head over. You want to scope it out? Try to get it here in the center so it shows up properly on, uh, on Twitch for everyone. But yeah, and as you're going, uh... You, you know, it doesn't look fancy, but at least the curtains are all the same color. It, you know, sometimes in apartments, you get pinks and blues and all kinds. Just every window, something different. Yeah, and you can see it's wedged in between these two larger buildings. Uh, it's still raining out. Uh, very, very light drizzle. Uh, still hot out, red skies. Um, you see, like, the ne- neon hologram kind of coming out the side of the building. Um, in between the two, just kind of promoting whatever ad is going on. But you're pulling up. There's people walking around. Um, everyone's kind of wearing slicks today or has their umbrellas and things like that because of the weather. Um, but people aren't really bundled up being that it's so hot. Mm. But that's what you see pulling up. Okay. Do buildings like this, I mean, this is more of a hostel, so it probably doesn't have a directory or anything in, down on the first floor. Yeah. Uh, you know, you... You're familiar with with the uh, hostels versus hotels, you know. Yeah, chances are it's not going to be as um, maybe logged or monitored or something. Who knows? But this is also in a decent part of town. Uh, maybe they're trying to transition. Who knows? Maybe it has a front desk. Maybe people will have seen something. If Chancy's a media, maybe they get stuff to this address. It's possible. It's true. That's Maybe true. Hades can take a peek through all the cameras that they probably have in everybody's bathroom. Ooh. Naughty girl. I do what I want. <laughs> okay, so do we have a plan of attack? We go in there, we try and suss out the sitch, see if there's any traces to Chansey, get uh, Hades into her bodysuit. <laughs> It sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, well, In the someone lead the way. <laughs> Ladies first, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'll, I'll go in the front door. Yeah, you go into the front door. It's I mean, super small. I guess you could call it a lobby. Really grimy, dingy. Uh, compared to this part of the district, uh, it, it feels like you stepped into the combat zone. It's of that, that caliber of a place, you know? Um, maybe not in violence, but in cleanliness and, you know, updated aesthetics. But, uh, bottom lobby just has a kind of sketchy elevator at the, at the back end of this room. Um, a lobby sort of a counter to the right, uh, and what looks like an old, maybe droid or robot or like half body sort of, um, android looking thing, uh, behind the counter, um, you know, just kind of attached to the side of the counter. Looks pretty beat up. But yeah, as you come in, it just turns. And do you need a room? No. In fact, we're looking for somebody. Do you happen to know Chansey? Uh, we don't give any information out, but we have hourly rates, day rates, weekly rates. You don't give information out, but you have information? We don't give information out, but we have day rates, weekly rates, hourly uh, rates. Yeah. What do you yeah. need? Do you need to stay? 
Hey, uh, Lady DeVille, my Hades, my friend. Now, uh, is there anything you could do with this machine right here to make it talk a little nicer? Uh, Hades would walk up to the machine and, uh, how, on a scale of one to ooh, how dirty is this machine? <laughs> um, it's pretty dirty. It's grimy. Um, and, you know, you can tell, you can tell it's very old. It's like old school, uh, old school mechanics and, uh, you know, probably would from, there be uh, a from back in the day? Would there be a place to interface on it, nonetheless? Yeah, you can do a scanner check. I <laughs> might have some uh, alcohol wipes in my bag, Hades. Don't <laughs> touch that. I can just imagine like people have like spat on it, like as they go past, because they get annoyed Aww. with it. Oh yeah, there, there, there's definitely some dents, some graffiti tags on it, some questionable goo stains and things stuck to it. Maybe a booger or two. Who knows? Allie, I think, I need yeah. a wipe. Yeah, I no, need a wipe, I'm doing. Allie. Okay, you just look that way. All right, look over there. <laughs> okay, and then she's just gonna like wipe over, um, <laughs> just a quick once over um, with wherever Hades needs to touch on the on the robot. <laughs> yeah, and she doesn't need to touch. She can do a scan, you know, in the room using the scanner to get an idea. Um, no, no, no. She needs to touch it. <laughs> now that you wiped it, yeah. Um, but one thing to note, I'll give you this, since she went through the trouble of wiping it when she can scan without touching it, um, you do notice that while wiping it, this droid sort of thing, it doesn't really notice, you know, it's just kind of, I don't know, maybe maybe with these pre-programmed voice loop things to register people in or something, but it you know, doesn't even notice when you wipe it. It's not like it's uh, AI driven or something. That's what you can notice at least. Um, uh, Ali, you know the play going around, right? <laughs> yeah, that's why I have wipes. Okay. Wipes are important. Don't don't touch me. With but it's one of those old school uh, handkerchiefs that you constantly <laughs> reuse and tuck back away. It's just never, not really sanitary. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> okay. You have to get a new one now. But no, Hades, if you want to give me your uh, give me your interface plus one d ten, um, you know your scan. Yes, yes, yeah. I do. And you can do it digitally. Um, and anybody can use the character sheet and do digital rolls. I prefer that so people can see it. Um, but if you have dice like myself, you mm -hmm. can also just do it and tell me what it is. It's up to you. My interface did not go the best. That's weird. It didn't add. Um, no, you should at least get... Maybe you didn't put on the character sheet. Yeah, it should oh, be 4 I'm plus 1d10. Oh, oh, you know what? Here, hang on. Here, I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, it's, you didn't put your rank in there. It didn't add in the plus 4. So that would be an 8, which is actually pretty decent. Hey! Uh, All your, right, your, pretty decent. I'll rank. take it. Yeah, there's a you, you, yeah, you can tell there's a system uh, coming from behind the counter, and this lobby is so small. Um, as you know, you can access systems within six meters. Um, you could access it from the front door, or the back. This, this, you know, it's a small room. Okay. Well, I am going back there now. <laughs> <laughs> gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna. You. It. Ooh. You have wireless oh. tech, you're fine. <laughs> I don't know, like you gotta get your hands dirty. No, that's you! You have to get your hands dirty! I don't have to. <laughs> you get paid more than I do! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Seems like a you problem. But yeah, you can do that. You can uh, access the system from anywhere in this in this lobby, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, that she's still gonna make a big deal out of it. Um, <laughs> oh no, capricious nature. <laughs> okay, so Aww. she she's not she's not actually gonna move anywhere. She's gonna stay where she is, but she may shuffle like two inches to one side, sure, just to like make to make an even bigger deal out of what's happening here. Um, okay. Uh, all right, we're, we're going in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going in. I don't want any complaints. <laughs> yeah, you go in. You're si you're sitting at the top level of this system, and it looks like you're facing a password of six. Um, now, you you're familiar with the options as a netrunner, right? I mean, you can carry on with the actions. You have you know you can do Pathfinder and kind of get an idea what the system is, see how good you do that role, or you can just get right into it. You know, start using your other actions and things. But that's what you're at. You're at the top. Password DV six is what you're looking at. Where are my dice? Oh, here we go. And this is actually, uh, full disclosure, this is my first time playing a Netrunner, so... Um, Yay! Say again? Nice. 
can we can all help you get 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 your head around it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. Not I, but I will provide moral support. <laughs> I love moral support. That's my favorite kind. <laughs> um, so okay, so so take me on a journey here. Um, you said it's the first one. Uh, I'm on level six. Sorry, yeah, I was getting uh, to my right. Yeah, yeah you're on right level page. six, and if you look if you look over here to the right of the map, um, you'll basically yes. see this DV6 that you're facing. Um, oh, and yes! The, and the yes, path yes. goes down, but you're sitting up there. Uh, you know, you can, you can, like I said, you can do Pathfinder. Usually, Netrunners do Pathfinder first to kind of get an idea of the system. Mm -hmm. um, keeping in mind that at your rank, you have three actions. Yeah, um, I know. <laughs> um, that I at least... And you also have to, uh, you know, arm your programs, things, you know, depending on what you're using. Yeah, yeah I have... What boosters that you can do, like backdoor boosters or stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, the programs I have, I'll let you all know because we're so close. I have Worm, I have Hellbolt, and I have Sword. None of which I need right now. I well, realize. Password eventually. True, true. Yeah, I'll, I'll Pathfinder it. Yeah, That's go what for I'll it. Do. Give me that roll. Alright, what am I rolling on that? In everything is going to be interface plus 1d10. Unless you have, you know, a program okay. or something that's going to give you a, a boost to it, a mod or something. I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm rolling at the very basic uh, level. Hey, same thing as last time! Nice. Okay, cool. And you got your rank in there. Perfect. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, with that roll, that you're, you're seeing that you're, you're looking at... It goes down to a level. And the next level down... Like I said, a DV6 password there. Um, the next level down, you're, it, it, there's a raven... Uh, sitting there waiting for you. Um, and then it splits off into two. It goes left or right. And both uh -huh. of those, one has a file, a DV6. One has a control <laughs> node, DV6. Um, oh, and then oh. it drops down another level. Um, and you can't really see what's there. It looks like that's the bottom, but you can't see what's there. It, it, it might mm -hmm. be hitting that, that DV8 or higher that you got. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try for the password. We're we're gonna try and we're gonna dive down. We're gonna dive deep. Okay, cool. I'll reveal what you see there. All right, and you still have one other action. Um, and keeping in mind that moving levels doesn't take an action, um, but as a net runner, uh, just to remind you that you used two of the three actions. Mm -hmm. So, um, or no, you only used one, right? You did Pathfinder. Uh, you didn't. Yeah. You didn't break the password yet. But once you do that, yeah, because uh, you have to break the password to get past it. You only have one action yeah. left. Um, sometimes, tactfully, you might want to wait, you know, until the next one. Have all three, especially if you know yeah, there's a raven yeah. there. And keeping in mind, um, after after session ten. one and two, there'll be a lot less coaching, and from the team yeah. as well. But we know that you're new with net running, and by all means, everyone can, you know, kind of team effort this if you want. That's fine. Um. Can I use my just just to slide something across the table here? Is it possible if I use my second to uh, break the password? Is it possible to use my third to arm something okay. in order to prepare for totally. the next? All right, hundred percent. That's yeah. what I want to do. Yeah, give me password. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> give me that roll and we'll see if you can crack it. All right. This one's called backdoor. Backdoor, yeah. We all. No, all about backdoors. Oh, you did roll it. Sorry, I missed it. That's I that did. nine. I, I did. I'm staring at what I you was, already rolled, like so, waiting. I was so slick. There. I was so slick. Uh. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you broke in. You can arm whatever you want. Uh, mm -hmm. So whatever you're arming, go for that. Let's go around the room just to see what's everybody else doing. You, you know, hey, you saw Ali wiping down the spot. The bot's still kind of on that weird loop just mentioning hourly or daily or weekly rates, you know, just trying to sell a room. Not really noticing anything else. Uh, what's Rush doing? Uh, I'm giving an encouraging smile. I, I want her to know whenever she looks up at the rest of us that we believe in her. I'm nice. Just... That's a smile of inspiration. Do we have that in Cyberpunk? Something along <laughs> like a like a bard's inspiration thing. Um, it's a smile of a fixer's smile of inspiration. You know. Um, you got this, Lady Devale. Uh, yeah. What's Alley Cat's doing? Uh, well, I think she's looking for like a bin or something, or like to, to kind of toss out her, <laughs> her wet wipes. The entire floor um, looks like a bin. Ew, ew. <laughs> but also understandable. It's got that, um, that sticky bar floor feeling, you know? Gosh, yeah, like I a think bin she's in this just, building. She's just kind <laughs> of like 
keeping an eye out like you know she wants to make sure that hades is um you know looked after uh sure. and especially because she doesn't like the the griminess she's just kind of like oh my god what do i need to like distract her from you know no, what, don't distract what, her <laughs> well, like no, but like when she, when she gets out of the net, what puddles do I need to like? Oh, let's just step yeah. over this and like just kind of like looking out for any kind of grossness or danger. Nice. What's Bud doing? Uh, so uh, this will be a running theme you'll find with Bud. He is leaning against a wall, smoking a cigarette. Uh, you know, one foot up against the side as he leans back, and anyone who's coming or going into the apartments, he's just giving them the old eyeball of, yep, keep walking. Yep. Good, well done. Keep walking. Not, like, massively, like, aggro, just like a, yeah. Don't look at us. No need to. Yeah, there, every uh, once in a while, there might be somebody coming or going. Um... Nobody that's, that's fitting the description of Chansey. And, and I should add that, too, because I didn't mention it before. Um, but, you mm. know, during that, that garden post, uh, not only did you have the agent number, even though voicemail box was full, um, it also had, you know, her contact email. Uh, it had her name. Um, it had a little photo. Uh, you can see she's a, a, a bald-headed female with a bunch of feather tattoos that kind of light up. Um, but that's kind of her profile pic. Uh, you did see that. But, um, but oh, yeah. that's nice and distinctive. Yeah, n mm. no one that looks like that coming and going. Uh, just the occasional, uh, you know, hostile resident <laughs> coming and going. You give them the eyeball. But back to you, Hades. You got all your all your moves now. You're sitting there at the at the top. You kind of know what's on the all next right. couple levels. What's your plan? All right, we're going in. We're going in. <clears throat> we're going in. All right, so uh, <laughs> going going to the next level. That was my Batman voice. In case oh yeah, that was awesome. Now. Um, so going to the next level, the level with uh, the raven. Yeah, you, you basically drop down. Uh, you see this raven, which is, as you see in this picture here, this raven adorned in plate armor, wielding a glowing white lance. Um, and these cards are part of the community. Um, I think it was Nam's post on, uh, on the Cyberpunk Uncensored uh, free assets. You can go get these uh, net cards uh, to use. Uh, links directly to him. You can see all his social media and stuff. Go show some support. He did a great job on these. Um, but that's what you're looking at. Uh, and right when you run into black ice, you got to do a speed check to see if the black ice basically gets to attack you. Um, so give me your interface plus a d10. I got an eleven. Nice. Yeah, it doesn't get it doesn't get the uh, the jump on you. Yeah, um, that's so right. It's, yeah, so it's your turn. You have all three of your moves here. Woo! All right. Um, so, uh, and also, just just to let know, um, once Hades actually appears anywhere, well, pretty much anywhere in the net, um, the avatar is, again, I mentioned this in session one, Hades' avatar is, if anyone is familiar with Vampire Hunter D, it's actually a very tall, slender dude with very pale skin, very well put together, um, and two really long ram's horns, um, with, bl like, black, shiny, um, with a cigar just hanging out of the mouth. I'll say uh, it. That's hot. That's awesome. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> and, and so, any, also, anyone who doesn't know Hades in person would never be able to figure out who Hades is, and that's part of the reason for that. Oh, yeah, I love that um, avatar. I love that idea. So... Uh, I think the first thing that's going to happen here is um, uh, Hades is going to go ahead and start with uh, a Hellbolt. A Hellbolt. Smash the black eyes. Okay, and just make sure also some some programs are made to attack, you know, programs that maybe other net runners might be encountering. Uh, encountering some are you know anti black ice programs like sword. Oh, and you're right. So just make um, sure. I think a hellbolt might be. Is that? Run design no, you're right. You're right. Uh, sword. Just double check. I don't have it right in front of me. The, the exact programs. Yeah, this I have my like, hellbolt and sword switched. Uh, sword because sword goes directly after black eyes. Nice. Prepared sword. myself for just this situation. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, give I me, saw you as a bit um, of a fight the black eyes net runner rather than a dodge them. Hmm. Mm. Yep, you just gotta beat a six. Let's get that, uh, give me your interface plus 1d10. Okay. 
And uh, just so everyone knows, this is in the shape of a glowing energy katana, um, which, again, we're, we're going back to the Vampire Hunter D here thing, uh, very much like that, so. Nice. <laughs> oh my. Is, is that a critical success to which ah! I see here? Oh, nice. Badass. <laughs> oh, you a whole one. Yeah, you can give me the I damage. I added a, a whole <laughs> one. Hmm. Yeah, but that's, so good. that's great for, uh, um, you know, great roll. Uh, you just had yeah. to beat a six. That's amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, give me the damage for your sword. All right. Uh, let me switch back over here real quick. My damage. Uh, 3d6. So let me get over here. And now we've uh, we've rolled a nine. Below average. Nice. You got say. two more. Uh, you know, two more actions. Um, if you don't have Peaks multiple. Peaks and valleys, baby. Yeah, and if you don't have multiple uh, uh, versions of sword. Um, to pull from, because I believe you know you can only use it once each uh, mm -hmm. round. Correct. You can use your yeah, zap yeah, yeah. at least if you have that. If you don't have any other programs that go against black ice, you can always use your zap. Yeah. Um, and I uh, question question for you. Mm -hmm. um, since that was my first move, is it possible? And I have two more. Is it possible to? Use one to reset, and then next to use sword again, or is it just once per? No, it's I, I, it's just once per round. You can't cool. use an action to reset. Right. It has to. I'm going to zap then. itself or whatever. Here we go. We we zapped with an eight. Nice hit. Give me damage. Right. And what's the damage on zap? I think it's just one d six. Just one d. Okay. Yeah. I'm writing all this down, by the way. <laughs> By the way, I think your sword might come with an inherent ta attack bonus, but I can't Ooh. remember. Ooh! I didn't see it. I'll have to recheck. I didn't see it on the thing. Yeah, just double check um, uh, details on character stuff, and we'll perfect yeah, when it I, as I don't, we go. I didn't oh, nice. interrupt while you were, because you'd already Yeah, hit, I got so. a five on that, by the way. Yeah, Yeah, this raven, is, me... this raven is hanging on by a pixel. Uh, you have one more zap, uh, and honestly, uh, let's just see if it hits, because it's literally hanging on by a pixel. <laughs> You wouldn't um, even have to roll damage. Uh, oh yeah, no. So the just as per that, the yeah, sword does three d six to black ice programs and then two d six to non black ice programs. Yeah, but it, sometimes the, they have an attack bonus to your your to hit roll as well. Oh, okay, yeah, I, the one that I was looking at, I don't think did, but I'll I'll double okay, check no that after. Um, we're going with the zap one more time, just to yeah, go for it. You just got to beat a four. Oh, finger guns. Well, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, hey. you pretty much blast that last, last pixel. It was hanging on by one, so, I mean, uh, you, you, you rolling your damage, even if you rolled a one, you kill it. So there, you, you pretty much destroy this raven. Let, um, hold on. Let's just see what happens, just for funsies. I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> just enough. I, I, I want to say that, uh, that Hades would take the cigar out and just, like, flick it at the raven. <laughs> And then, and then, uh, in the, also the voice that Hades has on the net is, uh, you know, would have to give a, a, a good line for that and just be like, "Go to hell, you fucking bird." <laughs> <laughs> it squawks it. out. Is, is there zap like, like the cigar smoke? <laughs> yeah, just like z -z 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 -z, right over it's at an it. Anime move. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You still have. Uh, keep in mind, you can move levels without taking an action, but you still have one action, don't you? Or no, that was your last. Uh, that was two actions. That was the last two, two zaps for the last one. Oh, that's uh, right. One sword, two zaps. Yeah. Yeah. Unless. Um, and. What was that? Oh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Unless what? Um, it, you were saying that was all your actions. That was your sword yes. and your two zaps. Okay. Then what I was gonna say is, um, you know, everyone's hanging out still. Rush is giving that that smile. Alley Cats is waiting for you to get done to help you avoid nastiness that's around. Uh, Bud's still kind of <laughs> watching out. Nothing has really changed. So in order to streamline, let's get back to Hades and let her wrap up this system. All right, Hades is gonna go down to the room that has the file in it, um, because that seems like something that's gonna give us something that we want. Yeah, it looks like uh, there's files either way, you know, that DV6 or DV6 to your right or left, both have files. That's oh, they both do, are. okay. Yeah, um, you just can't see what's the... at the bottom there. Okay, let's go to the right. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, you go over here to the right one. Um, yeah. This one, correct? Alright, seems like a good one to go. Okay, cool. Yeah, you go over there. Um, you're seeing that it is... Let me see. Oh, I I'm completely sorry. Yeah, on the left is a file. On the right is a control node. Um, so you want to okay. remake that? Did that? Does that affect your decision? Sorry about that. Yes, I want to go to the left. I want to go okay, to the file cool. first. That's what I figured. That's what, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You go to the file. Uh, like I said, you're looking at uh, 6, a DV6. So you have to ID 6 to break into that if you want to give me your ID roll. Interface plus 1D10. Yes. yes, yes. A hate. Nice. Yeah, you break into it. Um, and you're looking at a customer log, an employee schedule, and security cam footage. All right, um, and Kit, is there any way to download it, take it out of the system, or do I have to just view uh, you it? Can, you can make a copy. Um, I don't okay. know if you also if you have a, a hard drive um, space, but I believe you can also you can even without just on your your deck, you should be able to make a copy of files. I'll have to double check that. Um, you can also okay. access while you're in there. You know, you can always look in any of the files. You can ask me questions, whatever. You know, you pretty much broke this open, and you're looking at a customer log, employee schedule, and security cam footage. Uh, it's all open to you. Yeah, I. Well, the first thing. First thing, do we see Chancy on upon these files? Name, in the video. Uh, is the, um, yeah, there you, any sort of sense? Yeah, you do. You find uh, Chansey's name in the customer log. Um, it looks like he's staying in room 12. Do we see her on any of the video? Um, there's a lot of lot of footage here. Um, okay. If you, if you want to spend a few minutes going through it, you can. Um, it's up to you. My, you well, and I'm thinking time. too, I'm thinking I'd probably want to make a copy of all of this because... If it is true that Chansey has been here, I think it would be worth knowing who all else has been here, uh, because that seems like valuable knowledge. Mm. Uh, so yeah, the last forty-eight hours is going to be worth checking out, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can so copy anything... all that. You can jack all that out of the system. All right, we're jacking out, folks. Uh, so right. going to do that. Yeah, you take that. Uh, the files you jack out of the system. You at least have that info. You know she's staying there, room twelve. It's right about then that Bud. You notice the front door opens, um, and Chancy walks in. That bald girl with the neon feather tattoos, literally just like walks in. She just looks up casually. You know, doesn't pay you mind. Starting to kind of beeline. You know, just towards the elevators. And this is where we're going to take our break. We're going to take a, a five minute break here. Um, so if anybody wants to hit the little boys, little little girls room, you want to get some caffeine, some water. Also, I want to mention we are doing some giveaways during this session. So everybody in chat, don't go anywhere just yet. I do want to let you know we're giving away a two-month subscription to Sirenscape. We're also giving away a digital copy of Cyberpunk Red. Um, right now, I just want to tell you the, the, the word that we're going to have you type in later at the end is going to be Sirenscape. You know, just all lowercase letters, just Sirenscape. So when I mention that at the end of the session, hey, put in that secret word. Everyone type in Sirenscape, and then we'll see who wins that. Um, I'll let you know what the other uh, uh, secret word is when we get back from break in about five minutes or so. Uh, mics will be hot just in case the players want to talk any strategy or go over anything. That way uh, fans and people watching can be in the loop. So we'll see you soon. Five minutes.